When the news first broke about the changes to the Amex Hilton business card, I thought, well, I'm definitely canceling this card. Why would I want to keep around a card that is going to increase its annual fee, lower the certain spending categories that I may have liked, and the benefits being arguably worse than what they were in the past, I thought, what's the point of keeping it? But now that I've had a couple weeks to think about it, I've actually come to the realization that maybe this is a good card to keep around. So let's take a look at the new Hilton business card with all of its changes, and I'll tell you what I love and hate about it, but a little bit of backstory before we get into the changes. I originally got this card with a massive massive welcome offer. At the time, it came with 150,000 Hilton Honors points after spending $4,000 in the first three months. I also got one free night that I could use at any Hilton in the world as long as I could find a standard room reward available to me, and I am going to be using that pretty soon. This is definitely not the current welcome offer that's available. I got it about nine months ago, and so that means in about three months, I was going to have to decide if I was going to keep or cancel the card. But now that the Hilton business card has gone through all these changes, the keep or cancel decision for me has become a little bit more complicated. Let's take a closer look at what it was and what it is now. So the old annual fee was $95 and I thought it's actually not going to be too difficult to decide to keep it open long term at $95 but now it is $195. Yeah, that's just a, it's a high price to pay for a card that you don't even like. And just so we're clear, I'm not saying that I hate this card. It's just, uh, we're gonna have to find some value somewhere to make it worth it. Now let's move on to the next section of the video talking about the welcome offer. This won't apply to me because I already have the card, but it will apply to many of you who do not currently hold it. So the past standard welcome offer was 130,000 Hilton points when you spend $4,000 in the first three months. I thought that offer was fair. It wasn't anything crazy like the welcome offer I got from this card. And now with the change Changes to the card and an updated welcome offer, it's really not that great in my opinion. It's 175,000 Hilton Honors points when you spend $8,000 in the first six months. The Hilton Honors points that you are going to be earning from this welcome offer has increased, but so has the spending requirement in order to get these points. And as you can see from the American Express website, it looks like after June 5th, that offer will decrease to 130,000 points. I don't know what the spending requirement is going to be for that 130,000 points, but hopefully it decreases from 8,000. So now that I would consider the annual fee being a bad thing for this card, I would also consider the welcome offer change being a bad thing for this card. But how do I feel about these spending categories? Well, if you might have known it from the past, these spending categories were 12 times points at Hilton when you use this card to stay at Hilton properties or just any Hilton purchase. And there were a ton of six times points earning categories. Of course, I won't mention all of them, but they're on the screen. And then three times points on anything else. And now the spending categories are changed to you get the 12 times points at Hilton properties. But now instead of all these six times earning categories, you will just earn five times points on the everything else category. This could be seen as a positive or a negative depending how you look at it. If you're really trying to maximize every single dollar that you spend and trying to get the most amount of points possible, you would probably just use this card for the 12 times points earning categories at Hilton and the six times earning points at all of those various categories. And now with the changes to just earn five times points, it would be really sad to miss out on those six times points. But for the majority of people, I would think the majority of businesses, well, I think you're happy that you're earning five times points on every single purchase that you make. So it really just depends on how you view this card and how you like to make your purchases. I could really go either way here. I really didn't use this card for a ton of purchases before the changes, and I probably won't use them for a ton after the changes because I just really don't value Hilton Honors points too highly. Okay, so up until 
until this point of the video, I really haven't said anything positive about the Hilton business changes, and that was what I was thinking when these changes first came out, and I was like, well, I just need to cancel this card because I don't want to pay $195 for a card that I don't like. But that is until I really thought about the benefits coming with this new change. One huge benefit with this card is that you will get Hilton Gold status, which is pretty good. You can get free breakfast internationally and you also get a really nice uh, dining credit when you stay domestically at Hilton's. And this is not changing. You got this on the old version of the card and the new version of the card. So that part is okay with me. Now what a lot of people don't like about it is that you are getting rid of Priority Pass. You used to get 10 free visits to Priority Pass every single year. That is completely going away. And what else is going away is your ability to earn a Hilton free night when you spend $15,000 on this card. And you also got one when you spend $60,000 on the business card. Those are both going away along with Priority Pass. And so a lot of people were upset by this change and I wasn't gonna spend $15,000 on this card, so I wasn't earning the Hilton free night anyway, and so I don't really view that as a huge negative, even though that is a downgrade. Instead of those benefits, we are going to be getting $240 of statement credits back to us annually when we use this card for Hilton purchases, and it is gonna be divided up into $60 quarterly credits. Yes, a quarterly credit is not my ideal way to get value out of my credit card, but after thinking about this for a while, I thought I might actually get some pretty good use out of this one. For my situation, I am traveling quite a bit and I do stay at Hilton's somewhat frequently, not all the time, not every quarter, but it definitely does happen that at least a couple times a year, I do find myself at a Hilton and I actually am paying cash for a lot of these stays. So if I just use this card at the checkout desk when I am paying for my room, well, then I can get $60 off of my stay right there. And when it came time to figure out how else I was gonna get value out of the statement credit when I wasn't gonna stay at a Hilton for an entire quarter, I found out that a lot of people on YouTube were talking about how you can purchase Hilton gift cards and that will trigger this statement credit. People have been doing this on the Surpass card for a little bit. That is a personal Hilton card. And now that the changes have come to the business card where you get $60 every quarter, well, you can go online and purchase a $50 Hilton gift card. And of course you have to pay for a delivery. It's like under $2, then you can get that credited back to you. And I just purchased my first Hilton gift card. I'm covering up all the numbers on the card, but you can see that this is a $50 gift card that I'm gonna be using whenever I end up paying cash for my next Hilton stay. And I did this at the end of quarter one of 2024, and that was credited back to me just three days after I made the purchase. And the gift card came about a week or so after I made the purchase. And because this is a Hilton purchase, I was able to earn the full 12 times points when I used my Hilton business card, and I got the full statement credit back to me. I didn't use up the full $60, but I I figure that's okay because I wasn't gonna stay at a Hilton in the end of quarter one because they announced these changes like three days before the quarter ended. Of course, American Express could shut down this gift card buying strategy at any moment, and so I do need to be prepared for that, but I do think that with the gift card buying strategy and using this card when I stay at Hilton's and I pay cash, I think that this card is gonna give me at least some good value. Like let's just say that I only buy gift cards for all four quarters of the year. Well, that is getting $200 worth of Hilton gift cards every year and paying a $195 annual fee. I would like to be getting a little bit more positive value than this, but I think it'll do for now. And just remember on the old version of of the Hilton business card, there was no sort of statement credit to get that $95 back to you. So honestly, I might consider this version of the Hilton business card better than the old version, even though you have to pay a higher annual fee and some of the benefits that you may have liked have gone away. So even though this card definitely isn't anywhere close to one of the top cards in my wallet, I still think that it is gonna provide me enough value to potentially keep this card open long term and I'll end up not canceling it even though when these 
these changes first came out, I really thought I was going to. With that said, I think I'm still going to ask for a retention offer when my annual fee posts to my account, and hopefully they can give me a pretty generous one, considering that the changes just went through a few months before I'm supposed to pay a higher annual fee. And of course, if you are thinking about this card, well, it definitely makes sense to hold this card in the first year because of that huge welcome bonus. It's not the best bonus that I've ever seen, but it is still going to be good enough for a lot of people. So if you're interested in this card or any other cards, I do have a link in my description that you can use to check out any card that you want to apply for and doing so really helps support the channel. So I thank you so much for doing that and watching this video and I'll see you in the next one.